Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create and use advanced order strategies through the advanced trader on the Firetip trading platform. Now, I would like to mention that we have briefly covered this topic in our video on how to actually place trades through the advanced trader, but we'll be recovering that topic just for the specific purposes of creating advanced order strategies. So if you are looking to use advanced order strategies such as bracket orders or maybe OCO orders, you can head up to the top of the platform first and click on the save strategies button. Once this does open up, you have the ability to create a strategy. So first we'll click on add row. And then this will allow us to select from the several different order types available. So as you can see, if we do click down the drop down menu on your order type, there are quite a few here. I'll list these off. These are order cancels others, otherwise known as OCO. We have order triggers multiple. There's simple bracket orders, order triggers, and OCO, or trailing stop. So from here, I would like to mention that as you'll see here in our expressions, you could call them, or the different uh, order fields, there is typically a default option on each of these here. Now the default will automatically revert to whatever you have set down on the bottom. So you'll see there's a default symbol, side, quantity, order type, price, duration. Now you do have all these corresponding fields up here as well, but if you do set these first, whatever you have set to your default down here will automatically adjust to the default setting. So for example, if we select for our default symbol here, Let's search for the ES. We'll select this contract month and add it to our default. Now, anytime you do see the default here, as you can see, it automatically adjusts to that ES contract that we just selected. If you do so for the default side, you'll see up here in our order side, it automatically sets to buy. Quantity, if we increase it to two, three, as you can see, the corresponding quantity field automatically adjusts as well. So that is something quite nice. You can set your defaults from the very beginning. And as you move down through the list, your different corresponding fields will automatically adjust. For the price, this one obviously will fluctuate up and down. If you do have a particular method that you do put at a specific price, feel free to paste that in as you need and your default will adjust as well. So just something to keep in mind here. And then once we do have this strategy, strategy set, we can simply click save order as. If you want, you can um, adjust your order name here. As you can see, it is named after simple bracket SB, designating what type of order it is. And then you do have the numbers at the end here. Um, it, it really depends on your personal preference. You can just name it simple bracket strategy if you want. It doesn't really matter too much. We can click save order as, and then as you can see, we do have our order type here now readily avail available for us. So if we were to come through our advanced trader now and click on the strategy window, if we select our strategy, we can simply just select our simple bracket strategy from here it will automatically apply it to our advanced trader or our dome and we can begin trading through our dome as typical heading back to the advanced strategies section now if we come back to save strategies as you can see at any time if we need to we can edit it we can also delete it from our section here if we like, we can now that we have something in here, we can filter based off of strategies. So if you are the type of trader to trade multiple strategies, you can click from the drop down menu here and sort through all the available strategies you have. So if I do click on order triggers OCO, we have nothing. If we do on a simple bracket, as you can see, it's now enabled. Heading back now to some of the other strategies available here, just to show you, up top, we do have the option to submit a real strategy based on this save strategy. So when you are getting ready to trade, we can click that in there and we can actually just enter an order through our order entry window right here. So if you do not trade through the dome and just want to use your order book, 
that is an option for you. So let's go back through this one more time. And one more mention up at the top, which is also important. If you do have an order that you've placed previously in prefer that strategy or would like to use it again, you can click copy from saved order. This will essentially go through your saved orders or your previous strategies and you can utilize those as needed. Just showing off about how some of the other advanced strategies work. Let's say for example, we have a trailing stop. Again, you have those default symbols down at the bottom if you want to set those first. Otherwise, we can simply just come in and adjust as needed. If you do have multiple trading accounts, you can select that at the top. As for the side of your order, as you can see here, this is not the default. So we do have the regular two options as well as our default. And if you do have a default set, if you like, you can actually just do opposite of default. So they do give you a ton of options here to mess around with. Order quantity, we can adjust as needed. Drop down, you can see there's plenty of options. Or you can select default. For the symbol, again, this is no different from selecting from the default. Instead, it's just not going to be saved. So again, we can just add our e-mini contract as typical. This is a trailing stop order. So on this, we actually won't have the option of configuring a different order type. As you'll see on OCOs, you do have the option to configure that as well. Finally, for the duration, we do have two options, day or good till cancel. And then we can set our tick trailing amount. Just to show you what the other ones do look like, we do have OCOs. This does get a bit more complex because you do have the defaults down here as well as the two OCO order sides. As you'll see, they are the typical fields as you would expect. Pretty much the same things, but we can get a bit more complex because we can do trailing orders on top of our OCO. Order triggers multiple. You do have that first order. So again, you can do trailing or single orders. You have all the typical fields there that we would expect. Then we do have two um, multiple orders here. So we can set the stipulation on how our order is triggered, whether we want an order summary. Then you have your two triggered orders. So after that first one triggers, then your multiple orders will trigger following, depending on the stipulation you put here. Bracket orders behave as you would expect. Again, we have our defaults. We have our first open orders, which we would select. Then you filter all of the available fields. And then what's different here is being that you're on a bracket, you actually set your take profit and stop loss legs. As you can see, they are in ticks there. Four ticks will equal the stipulation that you set. If you'd like, you can go in ticks or you can come in here and select the exact price if you want. Finally, just to show you order triggers OCO, you'll first need to set up your first order. And then once that triggers, it'll set up that following OCO. So it's just essentially a combination of a regular order and the OCO as you have seen in our first field here. But that just about does it. We're not gonna actually place any orders on this video. Just wanted to show you how to save and edit strategies. Again, once you have filled everything out, you'll need to select the name for yourself, click save order as, and then you'll find it in your save strategies here. If you want, you can reopen this up by using the edit button, place a trade directly if you need to using this uh, little refresh symbol, I guess you could call it. Other than that, you can go through the advanced trader here. As I showed you before, you can enable your strategies down here. If you need to, you can edit select and disable place your trades as you typically would or you can just go through your place order ticket there and then you can just select your order strategy from there that just about does it we hope you found this video helpful feel free to subscribe give this video a thumbs up for future fire tip content thanks thanks for watching if this video helped feel free to give it a thumbs up if you have any further questions don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.